hi guys welcome to today's tutorial yeah as we can see i have my pencils ready and our molds ready okay so i'll be using this round mold to form a round shape for the brim of the hat hat and uh, of course afterwards i'll be taking the crown to form the top part of the crown yes so basically that is what is going to be done here and afterwards for the side of the crown we'll be taking the measurement of the crown i'll be showing you where in particular yes that place i'm just touching now is where you'll be taking the measurement of the side of the crown of course it will give you 23 inches and you'll be cutting it out from the carry board with a three inches wide so if you understand me say yeah okay now afterwards after cutting you can see this is how it's going to sit to make a heart no so the papers the carry boards are curvy so we we'll have to iron them to make them straight okay so now we are done ironing now it's time to form our crown now i have my hot glue gun as usual and now you have to be gluing the top to the side of the crown to make a whole crown so basically would i say top to the body of the crown sorry top to the body of the crown then it makes a whole crown so basically that is what you will do and please if eventually your top is not rhyming with your side maybe you've done some mistakes just cut them to the right size no no yawa no wahala no <laughs> no problem so basically that is what you do and afterwards uh you'll be we'll have to move to the cutting of the lining that we'll be putting inside the hat is it are we that fast no it's for a reason you just cut it out and keep it aside and when the time for attaching it comes we will now go ahead with the attachment so basically for now you can see what we are doing and um, of course you have to be very careful so you don't and again you mustn't make this overlap yes the body of the crown must not look overlapped except if you know how to just do your work and do it very well because sometimes someone might just make it overlap and it becomes obvious after the hat is been done so except if you know what you're doing you can overlap it okay so you can see now i have a little space maybe because during my cutting i didn't pay attention to it so i'll just use a glue gun a hot glue gun to just fill that space up and you also check for wherever the gum is not actually gluing and you make sure you fix them up so that is just it and afterwards we'll actually be going to cut our lining just as we cut uh, the crown out that's the same way we'll be cutting the lining out just the difference is add an inch or two inch because of the allowance you'll be creating so that the inner lining will be a little bit fluffy and uh, spacious you understand me so basically this is how our heart is going to be sitting and afterwards we'll be wrapping it up with our beautiful fabric okay so here again don't mind my lights all of a sudden the light just went off and um, it developed a problem so we'll be managing it like this yeah i mean the camera the ring light i was using so basically for now i think it's still bright enough for you to see now you've seen what i did to actually cut out the lining so it's easy it's easy it's easy so afterwards what we need to do is just to stitch to join this um, the top crown to the body of the crown but first of all you can actually iron if you have the um, 
have access to iron you can iron to make sure that the places you'll be folding are really in place but if you can't this is another opportunity another method you just stitch directly then when you get to the other part of this of the end you attach you understand me now another type another method is take um which i'm going to be doing take the body of the crown first get your needle and thread then you secure the sides of the body of the crown that's uh, uh secure the body of the crown first stitch it up make sure you have the round shape first then afterwards you'll be you will now attach the body to the crown to the top of the crown Please don't mind this slip of song I'm actually I'm making now. But basically that is what it is. And afterwards, of course, the lining for inside is ready. Just keep watching and you understand what I did here. Alright, so you can see the extents we've gone. So I'll be showing you the finished work soon, and um, that is it. So you can see how it's going to be sitting inside the crown. Aha! Uh -huh. So basically, you'll be facing the uh, wrong side inside, and the right side will be the one that will be showing when you look at your heart from the inside. So basically, if you understand that English, say hi. <laughs> so that is it. We are done with our, our inner. Now it's time for us to cut the fabrics that I'll be using to wrap it in place. So now this is a satin fabric and um, I wish I had something better than this but uh, well it still gave me my beautiful looking hat. So yeah we can actually cut um, the um, fabric that will be going around this in place by just taking the measurement from the body of the crown above the crown to the other side of the crown. This will give you the total diameter of um, the circle is it diameter or diagonal the total diagonal measurement of the circle so basically that is what you'll be doing and afterwards you replicate that to other sides of the circle now what do i mean 
I'm going to be extending. I took 13 inches, that's 13.1 inches from the crown, and now I'm going to be adding like uh, two more inches, roughly let's say 15 inches. So on the on the fabric, I'll be marking 15 inches, and I'll be doing that diagonally for all the sides of the circle. One side, the other side. You understand me? Just what I'm just doing. I don't know the English to explain it. So that is what I'm going to be doing. And afterwards, I'll be using, I'll be tracing the circle, the dots on the fabric to form a circle. Then cut out the circle, if you understand my English. So basically, that is it. And that will be also what we'll be using to cut the fabric that will be covering the um, the brim so except for one thing that i'll be later so that is it and uh, afterwards we'll also be replicating it on the big wall like i formerly said or i said before Okay, so you can see we've cut it out and um, you can see how we'll be placing it on the crown. And before then, we'll have to cut that off the brim. Like I said, um, this is what I'll be sharing with you. When you take the diameter, diagonal measurement of the circle, uh, um, you also be adding the radius of the circle to it that which will extend to the other side of the circle so then the radius for for this one is actually um, six inches the diagonal is um, at, um, 13 inches too so we'll be adding two inches not really six inches plus um, 13 inches will give us um, 18 right 19 inches so, but some people might just decide to fold the fabric and tie, but that is not too good. Now you take six inches, like I said before, and that is what you'll be extending from the tip of the circle to form additional fabric that you'll be adding. So that is what you do for all sides of the circle. Then you trace. You trace to form the biggest circle before you cut out so that is what I did and um, I'll be showing you how we did it Okay, here you can now see that um, we've cut out the big circle. Now, for us to stitch, we'll have to fold the tip, then we'll stitch around. Yeah, the regular stitching, just stitch around, and afterwards, we'll, it will actually form like a small bag. <laughs> it, will, it will form like a small bag that you can actually put something, but basically, when you're done stitching, it is the brim will be inserting inside and will squeeze to form the neater look of the brim so here is the finished work and uh, when you pull your thread it automatically squeezes and um, and covers up the brim so that is what we expected to do here and that is it and afterwards um, we'll be working on the brim so that it can look like a real brim that um, someone can actually wear because at the stands now well, it's just looking like a, a flat piece of thing uh, you understand so basically that is it and um, 
we are done with this so we'll be removing this to actually form the real brim so we'll be cutting out the center but before you cut out the center you have to take the measurement bit from the crown so you place the crown on top of the brim draw out a line then you give allowance inside the circle then you cut so please do not cut exactly what you are tracing now from the crown yeah you just while you cut the inside leave some allowance now this is for the brim now we'll have to replicate the same method we did for this brim on the crown that's the fabric we'll use to cover the crown so that is just for that and um okay hi and so you can see we are done with the stitching even though it's on the fast mode yeah it i did it on purpose so we can just reduce the length of the video so you wait on the crown then make sure you squeeze it all together before knotting this will enable the uh, fabric sit on the crown properly while you work on it so basically i had to reduce the speed so you can see for yourself so when you are done with this actually we have to use glue gun or hot glue gun to secure to make sure that the fabric actually is properly glued to the crown in order not for it to flip off from your client's head <laughs> one of these days she will be rocking a beautiful fascinator so arrange the stitches yeah arrange the stitches before you do that you understand so as it stands now i've plugged my hot glue gun but it's not yet hot so we have to extend our time to the brim now i have cut out the center and uh, it has given me a little bit allowance for me to trim uh, i mean for me to give this kind of cutting to enable to enable the brim actually or to enable the crown sit properly on the brim some people some other people can just cut from the line traced from the crown if you understand me then just just use a hot glue gun to hold the crown to the brim if you want that method all well and good that is another way but i kind of like this particular method i'm using as it stands now and afterwards i'll be wearing this um brim it's um clothes back so that we can actually work on that too Okay, at this point, when you're done putting on the, the cover, all you need to do is um, secure it with a hot glue gun. Sorry, either hot glue gun or a U gum. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to be getting a U gum so that I can actually be able to um, hold the fabric to the brim just at the point I'm touching this minute so that when we are cutting the fabric it doesn't flip off so basically that is it why we are doing this is so that we can be able to cut the fabric at the open side that's opening we have on the brim so we have to secure the, the rest of the fabric to the brim so we can it can enable us to do that so i hope you can hear me because my background is a lot a, a little bit noisy there's a serious rain falling so just manage the voice as it is now so that is it and when we are done we'll extend we'll proceed to the next level of the hat making
so of course our hot glue gun is ready now it's hot already so we will now have to secure the the um the fabric to the crown so all you need to do is apply some gum and then extend and um, draw the fabric to the tip and that's it so it looks like um it's actually you know it the, the floppy i be mean, the the space in between will not look so obvious you understand so basically that is what you do and um please if you don't know how to just walk straight away like this when you secure one part go to the opposite side of it and do that do the same so that at the end of the day your crown will not be looking sideways like like your stitches will not look sideways like you're moving sideways on the crown i don't i don't know if you understand me but just follow what i'm doing when you're done with one side you move to the opposite side of it and add and and um secure that part too <clears throat> i don't know what's wrong with my voice so basically that is what you do and afterwards you actually get a perfect looking job or your crown will look very neat so that is it and also i'll be chipping this in if your crown is a bit a little bit smaller the the the, the folds will not be obvious so if you want if you don't want the folds to be obvious consider reducing the length of the crown that will enable your folds not to show mine is a bit high so the folds are showing but that's the beauty of the kind this kind of hat so now our we move back to the brim now i guess the at this point the glue is well secured on the fabric and the brim and, and on the carry board so i will actually we are it's an opportunity for us to just cut out you can now see how the brim is looking so as it stands now we can comfortably squeeze this and not at this point so that um, we can extend our work to the next level so when you are done knotting and um we'll have to place uh ooh, after knotting sorry sorry about that we'll have to cut off the excess then now just as we use the um, glue gum to secure the fabric to the carry board we'll be doing that on the other side too but i'll be using hot glue gum at this point because i really need it to glue faster i can't wait for it to dry up and i don't want in a situation whereby when i'm done it is that when i cut off the excess fabric it starts flipping up because the, the adhesive is not dry properly so basically for me to do this i will have to attach my crown first to the brim sorry about the shaky camera there so we we'll attach the brim the crown to the brim and afterwards we we'll actually know the um, perfect um, extension to cut that's perfect size to cut but when you do that you first like i rightly said we we'll have to use a hard glue gun to secure first neatly and make sure your folds are still in place because that is also the beauty of this crown yeah so make sure your folds are in place not like you're attaching your gum and you're shifting the folds no as you are doing it, make sure the folds are sitting rightly at their rightly at their normal position. So when you're done with that, you can now comfortably cut off the excess. Then we'll now move to the next stage of hat making. Keep watching and enjoy the video. Okay, so be sure that the the fabric are properly sitting on the carry board before you eventually cut off the rest excess. So basically, you can see what I'm actually doing, and um, to be sure, 
that the whole thing is properly sitting so that it doesn't it, uh, you know you know how it will be it will look so disastrous if there's anything yeah it will, it will look so bad when you cut off your excess and the whole material is saying hallelujah i am here you understand so that should not be your portion and so when you are doing this make sure this whole thing is sitting properly to the carry board so that when you cut off the excess it does not have to flip up so but for the smaller parts or for the parts that are not so secure to the brim you can comfortably use your glue gun and then cut them and then glue them back now at this point you know we've cut this um carry board before now for the fabrics that are there that has actually glued them together we'll have to start recutting but not as bad as, as if we are cutting freshly you understand me so this whole thing had been a long thing a long video so i'll be cutting this video at this point and we'll be moving to part two so enjoy i hope you enjoyed watching and i hope to see you in the next part love you